In our last video, I left you with an important question. What happens when we supply heat to a solid? The solid melts and gets converted into liquid. But what we saw is that the temperature of the substance doesn't rise. Where does the heat go then? The truth is that the particles of matter absorb the heat and store it inside them. This heat is in the form of kinetic energy. As this heat is hidden and it doesn't show its presence on the thermometer, we term it as latent heat. What does this heat do? Well, as we saw this heat helps the particles to overcome the forces of attraction that bind them to each other. The temperature at which the solid changes to liquid at atmospheric pressure is called the melting point. It's easy. Temperature at which solid changes to liquid at atmospheric pressure. But let's understand it in simple terms. The melting point indicates the strength of the force of attraction between its particles. If the particles are very strongly attached, the melting point will be higher as more heat would be required. If the particles are not so strongly attached, then the melting point will be relatively lower. Do you know what the melting point of ice is? It is 273.16 Kelvin. This process of solid changing to liquid is called fusion. What is Kelvin by the way? It's the SI unit of temperature. And 0 degree Celsius is 273.16 Kelvin. We'll come to this point again. Now what happens when we continue to supply heat after the solid has melted? The liquid will start boiling after a certain amount of heat is absorbed. And the point at which this liquid starts boiling at atmospheric pressure is called its boiling point. Understand this well. It's the point at which liquid starts boiling at atmospheric pressure. What do you think is the boiling point of water? It is 373 Kelvin. Can you convert this to Celsius? It's easy. As 0 degree Celsius is 273 Kelvin approximately, we subtract 273 from this to get the answer as 100 degree Celsius. That's the boiling point of water. Let's continue this process. What happens on further application of heat? You're right. This boiling water will start evaporating. Water which is liquid will change to the gaseous state. This is called as vaporization. But do you know something interesting? There are some substances which change directly from solid to the gaseous state. Yes, solid to gas directly. This process is called sublimation. For example, the naphthalene balls used in our houses disappear within a few days. We do not see them get converted into the liquid state. These naphthalene balls move directly from the solid state to the gaseous state. Therefore, we say that naphthalene balls sublimate. Coming once again back to the idea of latent heat. It's hidden and won't show its presence on the thermometer. We look at a few more terms related to this in the next video.